Guys, welcome to another video. Uh, so in this video, I want to show you how to install and uninstall the Desktop Goose for Mac. So this is just recently added. So uh, basically, to get it, you're going to search Desktop Goose on your search engine of choice, and then you'll go to this website here, and I'll link it in the description below. And as you'll see, we now have the option to download for Mac. So just hit download now. Just take me to the downloads here. And then you just choose the one for Mac right here. A zip file. And now here's what it says at the bottom here. It says it's not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous. If you do get this message, you're gonna hit keep. And so we'll just go ahead and open it. And it will unzip itself. And then here uh, we have the desktop goose app. We have the README and then the README for the uh, Mac version. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so our differences for from the Windows version, it shows that uh, you can use Terminal to kill all or AppleScript to kill all or to quit the app. So because it's a desk accessory, it does not show up in the dock. To quit it, you must use Activity Monitor, AppleScript, or Terminal. And then this also shows you where you can change memes or add them. So uh, it gives you that library link there. And it has built-in memes, so let's go ahead and uh, try it out here. And this is the settings on macOS are managed by user defaults. These are the defaults, default values. To change a setting, use the defaults command in Terminal. For example, to reduce frame rate to 30, it gives you an example there, as well as Apple Script support. I'm going to leave it as it is, so let's go ahead and try it out here. So we'll go ahead and click on the desktop goose. And <clears throat> I'm on Mac OS Mojave. So this is the uh, message I gave you here. Desktop Goose is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? So let's hit open. And there it is. So it should be just like the Windows version. So we should, all right, and then this you can open to quit it. <laughs> Unfortunately, this may be something you see. So it says can't be opened because it's from an unidentified uh, developer. So what we have to do here is actually go to our, uh, go to our Apple logo here, system preferences. Once that comes up, you're going to go to your uh, security and privacy. So here it says open me to open me to quit. Uh, so you can just hit open anyway. If this option is not available, then you will have to click the lock to unlock it and then go ahead and allow that. So we'll hit open anyway. And once we hit that, it does kill the app. You guys, the alternate way to close the desktop goose if you didn't want to use that app there. So say we have it up. So we have him right here. All you have to do is click your search here, go to terminal. And then we're going to type in kill all desktop goose in parentheses. And there he's gone. So you have a couple different ways you can you can kill the app. So you can use that link that's in there, or you can type in kill all, desktop goose, in quotes, and that's it. Okay, so and in order to delete the desktop goose from your Mac, you will need to delete the folder that it extracted to from the zip file, as well as the zip file itself. So all you have to do is if you have both of them, just hit control, click both of them, and then hit, uh, I'm sorry, command, and hit both of them, and then command delete and bam, they're gone. So uh, you can't add that to your applications folder if you really want to, you don't have to, uh, but once you delete it, it's gone, and that's it. So hopefully that helps. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.